Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is seventh part of our Linux basic networking series and part two of our TCP dump. And if you remember from our previous discussion of our TCP dump part one, we left where we were limiting the count of the packets to uh, with dash C option. Let uh, Just a recap, uh, TCP dump dash D will list the interfaces you have. Uh, TCP dump uh, dash V is for verbals. TCP da dump dash C dash 10 will uh, limit the count of the packets to 10. And uh, again, like uh, today, what we are going to do is we are going to explore TCP dump uh, further ahead. So uh, let's go with our today's uh, capture. So today we are going to see that how we can capture protocols with TCP dump okay so I have my box SUSE box here and here is my Slackzilla Slack uh, Slack uh, Slackware uh, box and so what I'm going to do I have IP address of 192.168.1.191 and my Slackzilla box has IP address of uh, 192.168 uh, one dot hundred uh, two hundred there you can see that okay okay so now what I'm going to do I am going to run TCP dump let me clear the screen first okay dash verbose and I want to capture uh, DNS okay and let's limit the count to 10 okay in our slackzilla box okay all 10 packets have been captured okay so how we can change the destination we can use destination of 192.168.1.200 and port 53 okay so we are just uh, trying to mix up the filters here the option dash c says to capture 10 packets and very very verbose let's change it to verbose destination is going to be 192.168.1.200 and the port is going to be 53 Okay, so now I'm going to ping google.com. Okay, and and over here you can see that PTR. This is all DNS related packets. These are all DNS related packets, and over here it says IP and here is the domain okay and here is the air record and so this is how you capture and here's the C name all DNS related packets okay okay how we can now capture port uh, 80 which is uh, web uh, hypertext transfer protocol so with TCP dump and again verbose count to 10 destination is 192.168.1.200 and port is 80 and you can see that it's not uh, capturing any other thing because we have uh, filter we want our results in the like we want to filter the results okay so okay let's go to our web browser and pings.com
okay so let's see what's happening in okay it already captured 10 packets you can see and so here the result uh, HTTP 192 from 192.168.1.200 and you can see all the length IP address and stuff like that okay so this is how you capture HTTP, HTTP packet and DNS and okay how we can negate the packet so in order to negate the packet what I'm going to do I'm going to use this another filter TCP dump uh, dash count it's verbose count it to 10 and I want to capture destination is 192.168 1.200 and port is let's say I want to capture HTTP and not ICMP okay sorry let's call it protocol is ICMP and not okay so it's going to capture ICMP and not port HTTP okay so let's check that let me okay perfect it's not capturing HTTP okay good what about ICMP perfect so that's how you can negate the packet also okay and the same way you can just capture and um, let's call it destination and port HTTP and not ICMP okay this time it's not going to capture any ICMP you can see it's continue the ICM ICMP we can ping it again it's not capturing this time but what it's going to do it's going to capture anything in the HTTP this is HTTPS and it captured it anyway so that's how we can mix the uh, filters okay uh, one important thing and then we will just close our um, discussion for today uh, again uh, with tcp dump we can capture uh, only udp packets let's say and tcp packets so if i want to capture only tcp packets what I'm going to use, I'm going to use TCP dump dash. Yeah, that's it, TCP. Okay. But uh, let me show you how it it is very useful actually. And uh, today we will also see that trace route can also use UDP and TCP, and we will prove it with TCP dump. Okay. TCP dump uh, dash v destination is one nine two one six eight one dot two hundred and capture only UDP okay okay terminal clear the screen 
trace route. Okay, so you can see that in our window here, it captured all GDP. Okay, perfect. And this is all GDP. So by default, uh, basically in Linux, uh, trace route uses UDP. Okay, what if I and we can prove it with this uh, uh, this way uh, to capture only TCP. Okay, so if this time I run this trace route, well, let's see what will happen. Perfect. It's, an, it's not capturing anything, so this proves our point. Actually, this is totally different. It's not trace route. Uh, let me show you that. You can see it's capturing Mozilla's. Uh, it's it's this is not a trace route, okay? So well, we can prove it again. Let me close this web browser. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Clear the screen. only TCP waiting 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 so we can see that it has not captured anything perfect this means that by default trace route uses UDP okay how can we run trace route and capture TCP like use TCP with trace route we will use the dash T switch so this time our TCP dump will also prove that trace route is using TCP press enter Actually, it should capture. TCP dump is not capturing at the moment. Let me just pause the video and check. Okay, so I'm back. Actually, the reason was uh, we were not using trace route with. Uh, we were uh, using trace route for IPs. So let me show you this. Actually, it should work. Uh, TCP dump dash V C. Let's say count to ten and i want to capture destination is 192.168.1.200 and tcp okay so we will use here trace route first let me prove uh, trace route without any options to google.com you can see it's not capturing anything okay and what if trace route dash t here so we can see that over here it's using the tcp sin um, sin flags so that's how you can use tcp dump to capture tcp and udp packets the same way you can use icmp packets uh, with trace route and that discussion i will continue when i will cover uh, trace route uh, in depth okay guys uh, lastly uh, i would like to mention here that how you can capture the passwords um, i have um, checked one website and i found this option uh, you can actually capture ICM, uh, sorry, POP3, uh, HTTP ports. You just need to add it here, for example, and uh, 
port HTTP and port 25 and port 110 like 110 is for pop uh, 25 is for SMTP and this uh, grab it as passwd uh, pwd these are the fields actually okay and you close them with the inverted uh, with the comma okay and what is this dash a is for ascii okay and if you s look at this there is an option of l so dash l basically uh, it's a standard outline buffered uh, it's useful if you want to see the data while capturing it so thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my youtube channel and hope to see you in our uh, next video hopefully it's it's going to be uh, trace route thank you